Okay. Well, let's do uh, let's do defect. I saw um, at, when I raided. Ah, oh, crap. When I raided uh, Terence the other day, um, or yesterday, he was in the middle of a Pandora's box defect run that had an infinite for the Act One boss, and I was like so jealous. I was like, dang it. Why can't I boss swap defect into a Pandora's box that has like an infinite combo in the deck, like to start with? It's like he got a scrape and like three zero cost cards and got like a recycle from floor one. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> that never happens for me. Uh, we have a almost guaranteed mega elite snipe though, and possibly two two elite snipes, three elites in the act. I think that's almost certainly happening. We do have to go through an early shop, but um, let's do that. I like taking Nia's Lament as Defect, not really because Defect like needs Nia's Lament really badly, but mostly just so you can press end turn and win the win the early hallway fights. That's just good clean fun. Uh, Cold Snap seems like a great pick on floor one, getting an attack, getting ready for harder fights in the future. Seems good. Getting Cold Frost Orb. Ooh. Whoa. Floor two chest into Eternal Feather is pretty great. Um, pretty happy with that. Um, this is a fight, so we're not getting a double snipe. We can still get the Mega Elite snipe, but we can also now get totally dunked on and not get a Mega Elite snipe. Um, so that can be quite bad. Uh, I don't think we need any of these. Darkness is interesting. Um, Slime Boss is the boss, so Darkness is actually pretty good against slime boss specifically um because you can like you you can just like block the first cycle and then darkness him to death from from max hp um i believe yeah two two question mark fights because it, it's a it's a 10 percent chance and then um i mean it, it would be it's it's a one percent chance of it happening twice in a row but I guess this one wasn't a 10%, this one was 20%, but the next one is 10%. So it'd be 2% chance. <laughs> um, but 2% can happen, and now it's a 10%, right? Uh, we took a cold snap, which leans a little bit against darkness. Because um, we want to be uh, rotating our frost orbs around to evoke them. So I think we're going to skip. Uh, can't afford any of the um, relics. Can afford a fusion storm, barrage, and sweeping beam for attacks. Um, yeah, I do think skip is better than leap. I mean, we have to fight Gremlin Knob, and leap is basically just to defend. I just hate having a leap in my deck in Act Three. Is the real reason. Um, I think Sweeping Beam Block Pot is sort of unexciting, but, but probably correct here. Helps set us up for um, sentries, blocks the damage. Um, I guess we're not probably fighting too many hard pool fights, but there's going to be at least like a couple, or one. I guess one's the minimum. It's never too bad to have a sweeping beam in the deck. It's never great, though. I guess it's great if you have a... Whatever. <laughs> the thing Terrence said. We could pick Barrage. Barrage. I just... I'm, I'm so scarred from Barrage, because it, it has this, the highest, um, like, single card strength scaling in the game, right? You get ten times your strength if you have ten orb slots. Um... But then it just asks you to do too much. It's like, get 10 orb slots and get strength. And then this card is good, but the rest of your deck is garbage. Um. Yeah, if it, it, that's true. If it's just 8 damage, that's fine too. Um. But Sweeping Beam does like 18 damage in a 3 enemy fight. And draws a card. It is 6 per on upgrade. Beta, it's like, what? <laughs> it's 
some weird beta art. It's true. 40 damage, that's a lot of damage. I definitely have a love-hate relationship with Barrage, no doubt. I think Sweep of Meme is the responsible adult pick here, unfortunately. Um, I guess we could have taken, like, Barrage Explosive Pot, maybe, to solve the AoE. Hey, Guitar. Good morning. Alright, it is not a fight, so we do get the Mega Elite Snipe. Uh, we can take a card remove on a strike. Uh, we don't have any really impressive upgrades. Um, I guess I, maybe we don't want a card remove because we have the Eternal Feather, but I think we do. Okay. Well, now we've got some extra AoE. Uh, oh. Oh. See, Consume is a great reason to have not picked Barrage. We're never going to get to 10 orb slots in this run. Consume versus Defrag. I do love me some Consume. Just gobbles up those orb slots. Uh, Defrag's nice too. A little bit less energy intensive than Consume, but a little bit less effect. Um, is this an early consume? I'll take a consume from floor one. <laughs> um, I guess reboot's fine. Reboot is like I don't know. I've never had uh, I've never had good results from reboot. It it seems like it's it should be a good card. Um. Yeah, I guess I, uh, it's hard to it's hard to justify not liking reboot. Maybe we should just be taking reboot here. Um, it is draw for four for zero. It's bad against Gremlin Knob, and Gremlin Knob is still in our future. Um, it is. It's the problem with reboot is it's kind of a blank card. It like doesn't do anything itself, so it's not very card efficient. It's bad against Time Lord and the Heart. Um, it's really good on like turn two versus Spire Elites though, because it's like two burns in hand. No, those two burns are somewhere else now. I'll deal with that problem later once I've scaled up, which is nice. All right, I'll just take a reboot here. I I don't know. Maybe we should be taking Defrag. We have a Cold Snap. I think it, I think taking Defrag is pretty defensible. Consume also, but let's take Defrag. Um, I think I like this Strength Pot better than I like Distilled Chaos. Um, speaking of opinions that are hard to justify, Distilled Chaos objectively does a lot of stuff. And strength Pot does less stuff. Okay, alright. Distilled Chaos it is. Okay. Uh, we've healed, so there's no point in resting. Upgrading pretty clearly goes on defrag. Does twice as much stuff. Yeah, let's go fight some elites. Probably the worst case scenario for elites. Um, defrag is happening. Um, distilled chaos is pretty good here. We got a cold snap. We block out, apparently. Okay. Yeah, the defrag consume reboot, I feel like there was like the whole run was like being decided right there. It was like, which direction are we going? What do we want to be when we grow up? Um, he can die, or we can kill him. you like Funk Soul? I have a recommendation. Uh, you can go, go ahead and throw me your recommendation. I'm not like a not like a huge Funk aficionado, but um, today's a Funky Friday, so let's hear it. 
Um, I think I just like killing him. Let's see, so five damage. Uh, if it misses him two or three times, uh, there's two of them. Yeah, I put it in the stream title. Uh, so um, two out of three squared is four out of nine, slightly less than 50 50. Let's just kill him. All right, strike defense should kill him before he comes around. Kills him immediately. Uh, this is pretty fun. Pretty good for a sentry fight. Holy cow! Mango and Tropic Brew. What a reward phase. Uh, recursion would be a snap pick if we'd picked that um, darkness. It's not too bad here with the defrag. I think we probably just skip this whole thing. He's bad against Grimlinum. Grimlinum's the next fight. Ooh, we got a sundial. Okay. Uh, Alright, alright. Uh, setting up a zap is good. Cold snap we couldn't do without uh, waking him up. And we don't want to wake him up until we've... Uh... Wait, what just happened? Oh, um, Mercury Hourglass. I made a mistake. Okay. Um, oh, that's your, your, uh, your recognition. I was expecting a link. Uh, I will listen to that uh, offline and tell you what I think, Guitar. Um, can you, like, send me a... Um, look at that. Picks and lies. Can you do the Discord command? Um, it's not even self-promotion anymore now, it's just Picks and lies promotion. Um, yeah, can you reach out to me in the Discord to check in with my opinion? Because otherwise I will forget. And then I will feel bad. Uh, zap dual cast is the most damage. Um, dual cast zap leaves us with an extra orb. I think we want the most damage. Plus this puts a frost orb in front. Which could be helpful. Aha! Frost orb in front pays off. Uh, probably want to kill him next turn. This is doing 10 over 2 turns, so we have to do 13 damage next turn. Uh, Zap is 5. And we need 2 of these. Uh, we can't miss, right? Yeah, the only hand... No, no hand misses, because it's like the lowest damage is like double defend, strike, cold snap, and then we'd have to pick one of the two remaining cards, and those would both be lethal. So uh, we are getting lethal here. Okay. Horn Cleat. A nice little sundial setup, too. I like white noise quite a bit. Um, we have a sundial, so I, I would kind of like to... Um, uh, kind of like to do the thing Terrence was doing yesterday with the... Uh, um, whatchamacallit? Um, recycle. Um... We would need like a cool headed or a compile driver to make that go, but pretty close to that. White noise doesn't interfere though, so. Um, we're taking one of these question mark, one of these fires. I guess we'll take the. Let's see. Actually, we only fought um, two easy pool fights, so the next hallway fight is. Easy pool. Hmm. So I'll do this question mark and then decide what I want to do. Okay. Um, and Tropic Brew seems like a lot to pay. 102 gold seems like a lot to pay, too. Um, I do like relics, though. I guess I'll give them the Entropic Brew. Um, I 
Hmm. Is Hornfleet the best? I don't know. It kind of depends on the situation, right? It's true, white noise isn't upgraded. Um, I guess if I was at a shop right now and there was a 102 gold white noise, I probably wouldn't buy it. Um, so I probably value the 102 gold more than the white noise. Um, I'm not wild about that Entropic Brew though. All right, easy come, easy go. By the way, noise. I'll back. Well, I'm glad we didn't upgrade the white noise and then go to a shop and have to get rid of a uh, white noise upgrade. Um, looks like we can smith. Uh, there's not really anything to do here, though. Is it inadvisable to unlock Ascension 20 without going for heart kills? I feel like I'm getting there. I'll, I'll, I feel like I'll get there a lot faster, but I'm worried I'm not re learning about the real game. I would go for a couple of heart kills. I would make sure you, you like, at least know how the heart works um, before you, like, climb all the Ascensions. But, like, if you want to, you can just, like, you can just go back down to Ascension 0 uh, and fight the heart anytime you want. Um, I, yeah, I, I think I support just climbing without killing heart. Um, there's no reason to make it harder. Uh, but yeah, obviously you can play however you want. Um, I think I, I, Zap and Dualcast are, are probably the best upgrades, right? Um, I think I'm going to go for Dualcast. We might end up with like Plasma Orbs or something. In which case we want to play Dualcast more than we want to play Zap. Uh, more question marks or more hallway fights? Um, it is hard. It's hard for sure. Um, question marks could be shops, and shops kind of ruin our mob bank. And we have one easy pool left, so we could do easy pool, hard pool. Get some extra card rewards. Or the slime boss who killed our last character. Yeah, I think we're willing to fight a little bit more. Look at all these relics. This is insane. I went to a, a Redbeard stream the other day, and he had he had uh, the starter relic, and then two relics, and then a, a Sneko eye. And I was like, how the hell did you get through Act One and only get two relics? And he took it as like a joke. Um, he did take Sapphire Key during the Act, but like. Just like we get, we got a bunch from question marks. Good morning, Sixty. All right. Um, let's see if Dualcast will help us kill either of them or both of them. Uh, fusion pairs with our Dualcast Plus doesn't particularly work with Defrag. Um, chill is kind of nice. She'll definitely gives us something to upgrade at the next fire. Um, I don't think this is a claw situation. Maybe it is. We've only picked two attacks. Maybe we need more damage against heart or against uh, slime boss. Claw scales. Hmm. Thinking emoji. Uh, call versus chill. Boy, that's a tough one. I guess the sundial says claw, right? Sundial is like draw a bunch of cards, draw through your claws really quickly, do infinite stuff. And I think defrag says chill. So we're being pulled in both directions. Hmm. Some of your favorite shows convince you to watch something. Um, there's a show on... Okay, I'm going to recommend two animated Netflix shows, both of which are, like, super inspirational, sort of, like, fantasy setting. Um, 
things, not not Japanese animation, but like, um, you may have seen them. I don't know. Um, uh, they are Dragon Prince and um, oh shoot, is it just called Dracula? No, it's not. Um, uh, crap. Um, Um, what the hell is it called? Castlevania. Uh, the Netflix, Netflix Castlevania is insane. Um, it's so good. Just like, um, the, there's just lots of scenes where they're just like, the animators are just showing off just like little birds, like, sipping from a stream and just like, uh, but then like, really intense action sequences with like, super exaggerated motion and like, lots of stretch and squishing characters. It's just like, so badass. Um, uh, uh, that show's nuts. And um, Dragon Prince is, is super good. Dragon Prince got renewed for another season, so I'm pretty hyped for that to come out, even if you've seen it. Um, that's still something to be excited about. Yes, Castlevania, you do, you do not have to have played the game at all uh, to, to um, watch Castlevania. Um, uh, let's see, more about Dragon Prince. Um, Dragon Prince just, like, it feels so earnest, right? It's just, like... It's just like an honest little adventure of like these children cast into like worldly events who are like coming of age and like figuring themselves out and it's just it's a lot of fun. Um, there's dragons and stuff, a lot of a lot of sort of high fantasy um, elves and illusion magic and um, just a real fun time. Lots of good characters um, and a creepy little cocoon demon. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Claw versus Chill. I think I am going to take Claw. I think we need more damage. Okay, there's Claw. Hmm. Uh, Mercury Hourglass seems good here. Seems like double defending is correct. Um, Claw's always happening. Um, doesn't seem like Defrag does as much as Strike, so we'll just Strike. Well, we had the right tools for this fight. Sometimes that one's real, real tough, but... Sweeping Beam, Mercury Hourglass. Um, it's cool-headed. Um... Cool-headed plus um, uh, sweeping beam is enough to combo with um, sundial if we can get a recycle um, or some other way of making the deck real small. Um, it's also a frost orb, and we have a defrag, so it's not not bad by itself. Hi, coconut. Thanks for joining me. Cat cam! There's a cat. <laughs> Alright, see you around, Pixel Noise. <laughs> Everyone says hi to you, Coconut. What do you think, chat? Should we give Coconut a treat? She wants a treat. That didn't say anything, but I think yes. Here you go, Coconut. Now, if you would stop yelling, that would be appreciated. Um, yeah, let's take the cool head in and upgrade it so that we're ready for the recycle sundial thing. Uh, these are all defense. I don't like that. Okay, defrag is happening, zap is happening, and claw is happening. I guess a single strike. Uh, looks like we need to block. Cool headed is energy positive. Thanks to send that. Um, I'm gonna 
Block Pot and Drink Man Tropic Brew. Let's see what's going on there. Ooh, Fairy in a Bottle. Nice. Also, the Fire Pot is super good for splitting, uh, splitting the slime on favorable terms. He's currently taking 10, going to 109. Um, Cold Snap does an additional 5. So he goes to, takes 11, goes to 98. Uh, also, Block straight. I think we should double defend for the rest. Um, claw needs to happen. Is there a date for Season 4 Dragon Prince? I don't think there is. I think they announced that it uh, it's um, it's been renewed, but I don't know if they had a date. Uh, so this is 5 at the end of the turn, this does 3 at the beginning of next turn, that's 8 total, so he's going to 76, which seems like a really good number, so let's not mess with it too much. Uh, we have to split him this turn because Lightning Orb's going to do it for us, so let's max the damage. And I think that's going to be the Fire Pot too. Um, very different feeling. <laughs> Slime boss fight from the last one. Unblock for 13 here. And save the frost orbs. Get a little bit of damage into spike slime. So we don't get too, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit? Committed. We're splitting spike slime here, um... And maybe killing him? Sweeping Beam splits, um, it also draws. Um, oops, I shouldn't have striked there. I should have waited to draw next turn, because uh, then Sundial would be set up. But whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Electro, Echo Form, or Creative AI. Um, all good stuff. I think Creative AI is probably out. Um, we're looking to do Sundial stuff, ideally. And Creative AI blocks that up. Um, one of these cards gives us all three cards. That's the Creative AI. You can't trick me. I just eliminated that one. Um, Electrodynamics is really strong for Act 2. Um, Coconut is really strong for Act 2 as well. Um, uh, I kind of want to do Echo Form. We have a Claw, and we're trying to get a combo set up. Um, so being able to Echo Form will help us um, do more things. It's possible we click the, click the Skip button, too. I guess Electrodynamics is always better than Skip. So I think Creative AI is out. Electrodynamics is better than Skip, so Skip's out. So it's either Electro or Echo Form. Um, Electro is pretty nice. We have a lot of AoE already with Sweeping Beam. I guess that's the only AoE. We have a Defrag, so the uh, Electrodynamics is going to hit a little bit harder. Hard to pass an Echo Form for me. I am a big sucker for Echo Form. Um, seems like it wins you a lot of runs. I think Electro is probably correct. Okay. Um, correct for Coffee Dripper and Slaver's Collar. Uh, we do have a little bit of uh, sustain from the uh, Eternal Feather, so um, Coffee Dripper's got some natural synergy. Um... Uh, it does have a bigger downside than Slaver Scholar, although Slaver Scholar is, uh, has a smaller upside, so there you go. Um, we can take a Cracked Core. Um. Hmm. 
Cracked Core... I don't know, it seems like we generate a lot of orbs, so maybe we don't need Cracked Core. We don't really need the frost, the lightning orb, so getting a frost orb instead is kind of nice. But yeah, I think it's probably Coffee Dripper. Um, we have some draw, swooping beam, cool headed, so that uh, we're pretty highly incentivized to uh, pick energy. And uh, frozen core is not that. Hey, Meryl, how's it going? Cracked for capacitor, that's fun. Would have been better if we picked the consume instead of the defragged. Probably trying to dodge a shop. It looks like we have enough money that we could go to a shop, but we also have a mob bank ticking. So I think we'd like to avoid shops. A lot of fires available on this left path. Fire before and after that elite and after the elite fight. So three extra fires, that's nice. Um, I guess there's also three extra fires on this path. Um, you know how we talked about double tantrum the other day? I do, I remember. Did you have a double tantrum run you'd like to share? If so, you share the Discord. Oh yeah? How did it work out? Um, do we want bites? I think we do want bites because we have Coffee Dripper. Um, so I think we're going to end up here seems like pretty clearly the best um, early part of the act, unless we're like really hunting for elites. Um, I guess here is also about the same, but then we're going to be going through one of these um, shops. So we get more question marks going left. I guess it's the same number of question marks if we go this way, and this puts a question mark after a fight, so we have a chance to lose a little bit more health, so we don't lose uh, current health with, bottle with uh, bites. Got the, got the win. The deck was very dumb. Uh, three talk of the hands and a bottle of memory. Yeah, that sound, sounds like a win. Talk of the hands is so busted. Uh, so I think we do this. Um, it's possible that something in these first two floors convinces me to go right. I'm not sure what that something would be, but... All right. Um, well, this isn't a good situation. I'm always too scared to take Mark of the Bloom. Just like, fighting a Act 1 uh, boss for a, a rare relic is so good. Um, it always takes a lot of convincing for me to think uh, Mark of the Bloom is good. Aha, Electrodynamics. Start blocks for almost as much as defend and does four damage. Okay, he's already dead. Um, uh, I guess we can't avoid damaging him. <laughs> Uh, Claw Plus. Ooh, Glacier. Glacier Reinforced Body? Hmm. Man. I can't believe I just said Ooh, Claw Plus. Kind of an idiot says Ooh, Claw Plus. Um, I mean, another Claw might be the right pick, but Claw Plus is the same card as Claw. You can't convince me otherwise. No difference. Uh, Reinforced Body seems really good, but so does Glacier really like Glacier. I also really like kitties. Yeah, you're a good kitty. Um, Glacier is a great defensive card, but so is Reinforced Body. Uh, technically, Glacier is blocking for more now after... Um, the defrag. Glacier blocks for minimum 15, whereas Reinforced Body for 2 blocks for 14. Although Reinforced Body can also block for 1,000, which Glacier can't do. But Reinforced Body needs some pretty serious support to do that, so we'll just grab Glacier. Get those Frost Orbs, tick them. 
Need my electrodynamics for this fight. Electro? No. That's true. Glacier can also block for a thousand. That's fair. I didn't think about that. Which one requires more focus to block for a thousand? So Glacier does two frost orbs, so you'd need like on the order of 500 focus. And um, reinforced body blocks for nine per energy, so you'd need on the order of 100 energy. I think getting 100 energy is quite a bit easier as defect than getting 500 focus. Both are possible, but. Um, It's, it, you have to do something a little bit silly to get to 100 energy, because, like, you could get to, like, 10 pretty easily without doing anything too exploitive, and then, like, you can get to, like, 30 with, like, just plasma orbs and stuff. But if you're getting up to 100, like, you have to pick, like, two double energies. Ice cream, yeah, ice cream can help get you there. But then you're doing the same silly stuff just over multiple turns. Um... Okay, uh, let's see. Claw's always happening, Cold Snap's always happening, and then Defend. Alright, see you around, Guitar. Lurk mode activated. There's Electro. And then this is Lethal. Second Cool Head Plus. Got a lot of uh, frost orbs this run. Cold snap, two cool heads, and a glacier. Hmm. Hmm. If we get a little bit more focus, that's going to be an awful lot of block. If, if we take another cool head, do we take a blizzard after that? Frost is really good. Who's our boss here? Are you saying no to the Blizzard BE? I think that, that seems pretty pretty responsible. Blizzard is not, not a great card. Yeah, it's hard not to pick the cool headed, I think that's gonna be good. Okay, uh, I think we're taking the left path here. Extra question mark. Seems good. Oh, it's a fight question mark. It's sort of an unwelcome surprise. Darn. I'm not going to cold snap. I'm going to wait until this is, has electrodynamics. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no point in blocking. We've already blocked out. We've got hex up, so... Punished for doing so. Electro is a little bit late, doesn't really even do anything anymore. You just had a fight with four glaciers and three blizzard. That was pretty good, but it's just not too likely to happen. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'd even pick a third glacier, even with four... Even, I, I don't know if I'd pick a third blizzard, even with four glaciers. Um, uh, we could just double strike the cultist, and that's kind of like playing electrodynamics. I guess Electrodynamics gives us some Frost Block. Okay. Um, I think we just play none of these. Maybe we play Zap. Zap puts her on a three turn clock. That gives me no passive block. Okay. Uh, is this lethal? Looks lethal. Cool. Turned out to be a two turn clock. Uh, reprogram is terrible. Uh, we're trying to focus scale. I don't want to lose my focus. Uh, do we ever boot sequence? Sort of like a worse version of the, um, the, what is, what is the turn one freeze card? Turn one frost orb card. That we already passed. 
Uh, I think the same goes for Steam Barrier. I think we've got enough defensive tools. So oh, thank you. Oh my god, so many Chosens. <laughs> Go away. Um, just defend Zap. How many cards do you usually try to have? Uh, by the end of the run, usually like 28-ish. Might be overly precise, but... Uh, we're blocked out. Um, I haven't drawn Defrag yet. Let's get some Frost Orb. Uh, it's not unusual to have, like, 40 cards. That can't happen. I wouldn't say it's good. Um, I think we'll just shuffle now. So we'll claw and then shuffle. Take a bunch of damage. Ouch. You actually, it takes some restraint to, to stay under 30 cards. Um, but, um, you can do it. Being eaten. Thanks for following me. You should probably do something about that rather than, like, watching Twitch if you're currently being eaten. Oh, yeah. No, you're trying too hard to, to not pick cards. Um, it's uh, If you've played a lot of other card games, uh, deck builders, um, like Dominion or something, um, it's pretty easy to convince yourself that like card removes are like really important and um, talk yourself out of picking good cards, but you need cards because your starting deck is really bad. Strikes and defends. And so any, every card you take reduces the density of the strikes and defends, um, which is a blessing and a curse, right? Because it reduces the density of all the other good cards, too, right? Like, we really need this defrag, and we really need this electrodynamics, so every card we take decreases the density of those as well. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think we take any of these. Still looking for that recycle. We can duplicate a card. It almost certainly seems to be defrag. Uh, we really need some focus scaling if we're going to do Frost Orby stuff, and we're doing Frost Orb stuff, so... Let's, uh, let's take another defrag. And I think we're resting before this. Oh, we can't do that. Copy Dripper. Um, if I had it in an Echo Form, would I have duped it? I rarely duplicate Echo Forms. I usually feel like one Echo Form is enough. Because um, there's some fights where Echo Form is too slow. Um, but it is fun to have lots of echo forms, so um, I don't want to be be too broad in that analysis. Um, all these upgrades are terrible. We don't need any of these. Um, we could just recall now and hope we get better upgrades later. I guess electrodynamics is pretty good. Yeah, we'll take. I guess we'll upgrade electro for slavers. Okay, not sure we're surviving this. This is going to be a tough one. Book of Stabbing. Not a terrible outcome. Not great either. Um, I think we need to we need to go fast here, so let's drink the go fast potion. Try to save some life. Draw another card, see what it is. See what that is nice. There's the defrags. Okay. Uh, we're blocked out. Um, uh, we can dual cast if we think we're going to draw a lightning orb next turn. It looks like we are. Uh, I think Zap and Glacier Zap. Um, and then no cold snap because we're going to keep the lightning orb. Uh, 
Uh, we need to draw cards, so I guess I'll play these cool heads. Let's go lightning orb rotating. Um, let's see, we're blocking for 38 currently, and he's hitting for 35, so we can afford a strike. Although we could also just cold snap. Um, yeah, might as well get that lightning orb closer rotating. Uh, that's lethal. Cool. Pretty good book static fight. Don't hate that. Uh, wow. These are some good rewards. Horse search, charge battery, self repair. I think we've got enough defensive tools. Probably don't need charge battery or uh, self repair. I think about self repair as a defensive tool. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's it's actual healing. I guess maybe this is a deck where it's actual healing. We did take coffee dripper. And we're struggling a little bit to keep our health up. And we have a ton of block from Frost Orbs. So maybe we're actually blocking out and using self-repair for, like, positive health. Rather than just, like, using it to block for 10. Um, it's up against Core Surge. We don't have a Bias Cog, so Core Surge isn't, like, a must-pick. We have two Defrag Pluses as well. So I think we've got enough focus for the moment. I would like at least another defrag, long term. Alright, I think I'll take a self repair. And upgrade something useless again, because self repair came upgraded. I guess zap? Seems like zap is actually a pretty important part of our damage. Um, yes, artifact does get rid of debuffs, although getting rid of debuffs isn't quite the right way of thinking about it, it blocks debuffs. Yeah, I think it's Zap. It's weird how much damage the Zap is. We were, like, really looking for the Zap uh, as we were rotating through the deck. Um, which is just a weird situation to be in, but I guess Zap is it. A um, little bit of a warning, warning flare there. If Zap is your damage, you're not doing very much damage. Hey, you can't walk in front of my mind, though. I'm... I'm, I'm grateful to have you here, but you can't walk in front of water, so stay on your pillow. Um, extra fire or a shot at a second elite? That's sort of the choice here. I guess we're getting an extra fire either way, so we'll take the shot at a second elite. Hey, hey. Stay on your pillow. It's a kunai, you know what that means. It's time for me to completely change the direction of the run for no reason. Um, no, it seems like we already have a lot of, uh, a lot of scaling for our defenses. Um, we also have a claw, and, um, theoretically we're still looking for an infinite. Um, if we get, um, uh, whatchamacallit, recycle. Um, so, kunai is really good in that context. That's probably better than Sapphire Key. I don't think we're going to proc it too much, but it's um, it's something that could end up being good. Right, we're going to need an Electrodynamics. Maybe Cool Headed will draw it for us. Nope. Um, no, you can't. Even if you're sneaky, you just can't step in front of the monitor. I can see what you're doing. You're right in front of me. No. Don't do that. Cat ownership. Um, Zap and Glacier happening. I think putting the Lightning Orb in front is pretty reasonable. Get that Claw stacked up. There's the Electro. Um, we could Cold Snap and Dual Cast to get maximum damage. It doesn't seem like we need the max damage, so we'll just Dual Cast Cold Snap. Keep the orbs around. And get punched for a lot. Oh, but we got that Self Repair. That's, that's our ticket back into the game. 
It is pretty neat that self repair can can uh, can block when nobody's attacking. Uh, Regen pot is pretty good here. Um, I don't think we need any of these. Maybe Bullseye? No. Bullseye is a liability in Act 3. We're almost in Act 3 now. Uh, do we have Go for the Eyes? Hmm. It's an interesting idea. Yeah, we have Kunai. Weakens people. It's upgraded. pretty low impact. We do have a lot of card draw, though. Two cool-headed sweeping beam. Is that all we have? Feels like we have a lot. I guess it's only a 20-card deck, so two cool-headed is a lot. Okay. Uh, it's another card we have to remove if we want to do a um, recycle deck, but we don't have a recycle, so we build around what you got. Uh... <laughs> Go for this, immediately saves us a ton of health. Let's go ahead and drink that regen pot too. How is Bullseye? Oh, Bullseye is like extra focus. Yeah, I thought you were saying that um, Go for the Eyes was extra focus. Does it really feel like I could use the block? I feel like blocking is what this deck does best. Um, we're gonna need those frost orbs. Let's get those developed. I would like to play self repair. I think we're gonna play glacier instead. I see, immediate block, yeah, that's fair. Objective is to cycle back to the. Um, um, yeah, sorry, I don't. I didn't mention the shop, but definitely hitting the shop is an option. Like if we're if we're going to take the elite, I think we're going to take the shop. Um, getting back to the self repair is, is a goal here. Goal complete. Yeah, it, we got enough value out of the mob bank. We don't need to get more. Oops, I should have waited for the end of the turn. We would have healed for one there. Uh, nope. We've already got to go for the eyes. Melter is unnecessary, so it's doom boon. We could take two question marks. I guess that's a route, too. Yeah, almost all these routes are options. Two question marks is good. Fight in a shop, it seems good. Uh, rest seems good. I think we'll take this fight and see where we're at. It's possible we're at 48 after this. We basically need that outcome to feel confident in this elite. Ooh, this doesn't look like a fight we're surviving with, uh, with no damage. I would like apparitions. That's would be, would be good. Uh, this needs to happen. If we traded the cracked core for a frozen core, we'd be able to dual cast this frost orb now. Be very helpful. First puzzle proc of the run. Um, all right, electrodynamics. I think is happening. We've blocked out so we can play self repair. Um, we should kill Fungi Beast. He's already dead, I guess. Um, so we should play Claw. And... Oh, did it proc last fight? It seems like it would have to have proc last fight. I guess this is the first time I've noticed it. <laughs> Alright, blocking for 20 seems like a glacier. Okay. I think strike's better than cool head. Okay. 
gets rid of the armor. This is over plated armor damage, and it's apparently lethal also. 41 is not bad. 41 with a fairy in the bottle. I think we can take the... Uh, um, I think we can take the... Elite. Yeah, the, that self-repair is uh, is super good. Almost every fight we're getting a self-repair off on a turn we've already blocked. Um, um, hmm. Yeah, I think we just skip. Compile Driver's kind of okay. If we want to keep a bunch of draw, Compile Driver's a good pick. I think it's kind of junky, though. Alright, we've got 600 gold. Let's go to a shop. Oh my god, 600 gold in the membership card. Click this and then think. There's a recycle, too. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, we could buy ceramic fish, too, so that these cards are, like, free. <laughs> it's not quite 1,200 gold. It's, like, 800 gold now, because we had to pay for the membership card. I guess the membership card costs, like, 200, so it's, like, 1,000. Yeah, I have been looking for this recycle for a long time. If we're doing recycle, we're doing card remove. Uh, and maybe flash of steel. Um, Ceramic Fish is so good with membership card. It is floor 30. Maybe we're never taking it. Maybe we're never buying another card, though. Or taking another card. If we're taking recycle, we're trying to get down to, down to like 15 cards-ish. Or, I mean, like, in the context of a fight, we're trying to get down to 10 cards. So let's do this, and this. Um, Nunchaku? Seems like if we're trying to do Kunai, Nunchaku is a natural fit. I mean, it's an $86 Kunai, or Nunchaku, why would I not pick it? Um, I think we're done. I don't think we need Flash of Steel. It's just another card we have to remove. Um, it does help us get Kunai stuff, but... Hey. She actually had a pretty legitimate complaint. I disassembled her little... path to jumping up on the desk. She needed it put back. Uh, okay, so this is a 21 card deck. We have three powers, so those exhaust themselves. Uh, there's no other cards that exhaust. Uh, oh wait, four powers. So we're like 17 cards, so Recycle has to get played like seven times before we go infinite. We might need a second Recycle. Um, but I don't think we should take any of these cards. We could throw away the fire pot for a uh, distilled chaos. I don't hate that. We might need a hologram to get back uh, recycle. There's no hologram here. Okay. She's very old. She's like 20 years old. All right, here's slavers. Ooh, bad self repair turn. Um, rough. Um, Alright, I think we're hoping dual cast strike fire pot kills somebody. Is that possible? So this does 16, 24, 44. It's not possible. Um, uh oh. Well, I guess we play it. It's not getting any better. Um, I think we're skipping dual cast because we'll wait until this gets focus and, and um, electrodynamics. Terrible turn one here. Yeah, eight cards in cleat is nice, that's true. We didn't draw the card we need, which is Electro. 
So let's go draw it. Nope, that's not it. Uh, well, now we can't draw it. Or we're unlikely to draw it, I guess. Um, so I think we're just going to be happy with double defrag this turn. I guess we can still draw it. We could draw it with cool headed. But then we don't play the defrags. That seems bad. I think I'd rather plan on drawing it next turn. So we're going to avoid playing the cool headed. Uh, we are currently taking 16 damage. So, triple defend seems good. Go for the eyes, I guess, is um, blocks for quite a bit. So now it's 18 plus 8 is 26. Minus 16, so we're only blocking, taking 10. Uh, these block for 2, and these blocks for 5, so we take 1. Okay. Oh no, we didn't draw it! Oh wow, Electrodynamics is bomb deck here. Uh, that's a disaster. Um, Alright, so we're gonna put Zap up first, and then evoke both Lightning Orbs. Okay, good, 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 good. So we can kill him. And then survive, right? Yeah, we're blocking for 16 plus... Um, yeah, so we're blocked out. Electro next turn both kills one of them and blocks out. Yeah, that was that was really bad draw. Uh, that was pretty scary there for a minute. I thought we were gonna die. Smiling Mask is good if we're trying to get down to a combo deck. Um, Tempest is kind of interesting. Um, we need some damage, we have a lot of focus, and there's a little special bonus interaction where we can, if we recycle a Tempest, um, we double our current energy, which is cute. Um, we can't heal for, uh, for collector because of the coffee dripper so this is gonna be a tough fight um, it might go to waste or it might go into cool headed drawing a bunch of cards I think I will take Tumbus and then upgrade um, recycle Okay, uh, I feel like we're uh, we're a mechanic in a car in a garage with like an ancient car. We're just trying to get it started. We're like turning that crank as hard as we can. Hasn't turned over yet, but maybe maybe soon. Um, I think we're avoiding procking Nunchaku here, so we're gonna like cold snap Electro and then like recycle a defend. We'll save Nunchaku for next turn. Yeah, exactly. We could go infinite next turn, or not next turn, but like before they hit us, right? Um, or we could just die immediately. <laughs> the deck is a little bit hard to predict. It's sputtering. Um, we need to find like a glacier here. Currently taking 19. Play the defrag before the cool head, I believe. Um, we can Tempest dual cast to evoke a frost orb. I think that blocks for more than the defend. Yeah, it blocks for um, 10 relative to, to current block. Also exhaust the Tempest, gets that out of the way. Oh wait, maybe I was supposed to dual cast a 
lightning orb there because it would have killed the torch heads. Oops. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. You're sorry. Um, well, we're not dead, and we got both. Uh, um, both wish my columns um, defrags up, so I think we're in okay shape. Okay, 14 cards. Getting close. Snap dual cast blocks for a lot. Do we need that much block? We're currently blocking for 30, so no. Um, all right, Kunai Brock. Look at that. Um, let's see, do we want a lightning orb or a frost orb? We can have either. Probably doesn't matter. I guess I'll take a lightning orb for a little extra damage. I guess I'll just dual cast it. That's damage. We're gonna evoke it next turn anyway. We've got like glacier and stuff. Okay. Bit of a gap turn here. Um, but we're not being attacked, so that's okay. Still blocks for 50, so. Alright, drawing a lot of cards. It's getting pretty close. Um. Didn't miss the landing goal, actually, probably right. I was more focused on just, uh, just trying to draw a lot of cards that turn. Uh, Cold Snap Dual Cast kills these guys. Uh, but maybe we need to focus on something else. I guess Sweeping Beam and just evoking that Lightning Orb kills him. So we can Dual Cast a Frost Orb. If we need to evoke for Frostorp, maybe we don't. Um, block for 18 at the end of the turn, so we're blocking for 33, so if we just channel a Frostorp, that's good enough. Wait. Yeah, because this is 42. Yep. That's enough. Down to 12 cards, need to get down to 10. Before we can combo. And even then, we won't combo, like, super consistently. Five is when we combo every single turn, no matter what. Been a little bit resistant to recycle the glacier. It draws more cards, but... Yeah, this is a very slick look. We actually, we survived the debuffs, so the debuffs are gone now. He never debuffs you again, so... Oh, let's go ahead and dual cast the lightning orb. Uh, we're not blocked out. Oh wait, yeah we are. Alright, cool head shuffles. Um, not much left to recycle. This is 
Glacier's turn. Glacier or Cold Snap, I guess they're both recyclable. We're just gonna like win the fight before we get the the infinite, unfortunately. Yeah, that's lethal. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Fine. <laughs> oh, sorry. What's what's collector's collector doesn't really present as a specific gender, so it doesn't really seem like it matters which way you choose to gender her. It, they, he. How do you know? Did you ask her? Them? Um, seems like all for one is probably good. Yeah, we have recycle. Playing recycle over and over is how we do stuff. All for one lets us play it. Recycle. Click that card. Um, Pandora's box seems like it turns off our infinite, or does it upgrade these cards? Um, if it turns them into powers or cards that exhaust, then it kind of does some of our work for us. Um, that seems good. The Steam Trading Card Art. Is that, and you're saying that confirms the, uh, the gender of... Oh man, this Steam Trading Card Art is friggin' weird. <laughs> Whoa, dude. I don't... <laughs> I'm not a fan of this Steam Card Art. It's so wacky. Ugh, Time Lord? That's not what his face is supposed to look like. Come on. Okay, alright, well. She definitely has some long legs, I'll give you that. Um. <laughs> uh, we could take Fusion Hammer, but then our campsites would be totally wasted. We could take Sacred Bark, but we don't have any specific potion combo stuff. I think we're going to take Pandora's Box. Um, I don't know what it's going to do. It can't do anything that, like, breaks the combo. It could give us another recycle. There are quite a few cards that exhaust. Um, thanks for the follow, Swing Pop. Sounds like a fun genre of music. Is that what that is? Alright, we got another Claw. We did get a Creative AI. That kind of breaks the thing. Um, Heat Sinks gets out of the way. Sweeping Beam is another way to, to combo. And thanks for the follow, Captain Grim. I thought you already followed. Seen your M before. Um, auto shields is pretty much a waste. I guess it is a, a front-loaded block card, which is something we've had problems with. Pandora's box is surprisingly good. Surpri Pandora's box is like very, very rarely has bad outcomes. Like these cards are much better than strikes and defense. Coconut has opinions. Um, Chaos could make... Oh, wait, we don't have Compile Driver. Never mind. I was going to say it could make our Compile Driver draw more, but that's not true. Okay. Donudeka is our first Act 3 Elite. We've already done our green key, so we have to recall and reject a Relic, but that's, uh, that's the last things we have to do. I mean, there's a relative power difference between the basic cards and random cards. I don't know why we need to label them as good or bad. Um, I'm really a card game moral relativist, is what I'm saying. Uh, there's three elites here. Are we hunting elites? Is that what we want to do? There's lots of ways to get three elites if we start here. Any of these three for the second one. Either of these two for the last one. Um, hmm... So the only way we can't get three elites is if we go to here or here. Or I guess here. Uh, probably went to question marks. I guess shops are good because we have like 800 gold equivalent. So we should probably go to this shop. And then maybe that shop. Okay. That makes the decision for me. Giant Head is going to shred you unless you get the infinite going. That's true. But we can get the infinite going. Um, this is our act. It's act three now. 
Uh, why aren't you starting with full health? There is a ascension level, ascension level five, that makes you heal less after boss battles. So we only heal for, I believe, 75% of our missing health. Um, which IMO makes the game more fun. Uh, electrodynamics blocks for uh, six, uh, so we end up blocking for ten, and uh, I'm doing stuff. If this Tempest was upgraded, we could get an extra Lightning Orb, um, and that would kill him. We don't have that, so I'll just throw it away. So I don't have to draw it again. Um, I totally missed that one of the spikers was attacking. I just assumed they don't attack. Which uh, turns out not to be true. Um, it's okay, we got 10 healing at the end of the fight anyway. Uh, hologram plus gets us back our recycle, lets us recycle more aggressively. It is itself a card that ends up need to, needing to get recycled. Uh, but we can also hologram back cards like all for one, and um, we can recycle back a creative AI so that we so that we can recycle it or hologram back a creative AI. Hologram plus seems like a really big part of a successful combo deck. Um, oh man, we've got the uh, membership card smiling mask interaction. So card remove costs exactly fifty. I think it, I guess it would cost thirty five now. Or wait, how much would it cost? No, it would cost fifty either way actually because it. This is our second card removed, so it costs 100. So it costs half, but then it also costs exactly 50. Uh, there is an orange pellets here. That seems like a pretty much auto pick. So let's auto pick it. Uh, ornamental fan. We have kunai, and we're trying to do infinite stuff, so ornamental fan seems like a like eyes bulging cartoon reaction. Um. I think we're removing something. We just Pandora's box, so we probably have lots of crap. Creative AI? I think creative AI we're getting rid of. Uh, maybe chaos is worse? Yeah, ink bottle I think is also something we're pretty excited about. I'll think more about that card remove in a second. Um, I c we can buy both of these. We can't buy both of them and card remove, right? costs uh, 280 together. Downward facing dad. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I think ink bottle is probably more important than ornamental fan to the combo because we do have a kunai. Um, also, the infinite combo is basically infinite block even against the heart because it contains cool headed. So we don't really need the ornamental fan. Um, so I think we're going to go Ink Bottle instead. And probably then just card remove and leave. I think Chaos does more stuff. Chaos gives you a Plasma Orb sometimes. Um, so like one quarter of the time, Chaos Orb gives you two energy back. Um, if you evoke the Plasma Orb immediately. Um, which means it really only costs 0.5 energy, which is kind of neat. Um, and I don't think we're ever playing the Creative AI, so Creative AI basically seems like a curse. So let's just get rid of it. That's true. It's Bonfire Spirits, but Bonfire Spirits is not a, not a common outcome from the rest of the run. Okay. Um, there's no way to get this Frost Orb dual casted, which is what I would want. I want to like defrag and then like play a cooled snap in an Electrodynamics Minus, but I don't have that. If the next event is Bonfire Spirits, I think I'm pretty happy about that. I think we're done with Electrodynamics. I'll take some extra health for an Electro. Um, he says, despite the fact that his boss is Dodi Deco. Um, yeah, Chaos. <laughs> um, I mean, we don't really have any decisions to make this turn, so... I guess I won't pretend that I do. I 
I guess I was supposed to dual casks uh, before electrodynamics. I guess I'll just do it now anyway. We generate so many orbs. What happens? Um, you know what? You're right. That was a block button. I don't know why I didn't. It didn't even occur to me that a block pot was an option there. Uh, I just like convinced myself that there were no options this turn, and then um, chose all the choices wrong. Okay. Okay. Uh, we could probably win the fight this turn, but we don't want to because we want to find um, self-repair before the fight ends. So he's already dying at the end of the turn. How do we draw without killing them? Uh, we can't. Sweeping beam causes him to die. No, that's not true. He's at 17. He takes 10 at the end of the turn. So if he takes 6, that's okay. Um, heat 6 can draw a card. We can't play anything else without accidentally winning. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm going to reset fight. Uh, I, I, this does accidentally win because of a Mercury Hourglass. Restarting a fight twice. Um, I did it differently this time. And this way kills that guy. So now I don't need to block pot. God. Okay. Man. It's surprising how many different ways there are to misplay this turn when I thought there were no decisions. Okay. Um, I think we just end turn here. I guess I'll pocket claw. We can't sweep beam without killing him. We also can't claw without killing him. So we don't claw. Okay. Alright, there's the self repair, so now we're free to kill them. play a bunch of cards to get back ink bottle. Um, oh no, but now I don't have ink bottle set up. That's way more important. Or, uh, not ink bottle, sundial. Alright, I'm a mess. Uh, these all seem bad. Consume was originally something we were considering, but I don't think it's good. Um, I guess if we went down the two orb slots and then recycle to consume, that'd be probably a good outcome. Uh, but I'm not going to do it. Scrape does kind of draw cards. We've got a couple of zero cost things. Helps us shuffle. But no. Gambler's Rue helps us set up, but I think it's not as good as block bot. Question marks are better than fights. Do we ever go to this fire over this elite? I don't think so. Alright, it's a fight either way, turns out. Let's see what he's doing. Uh, go for the eyes, changes his stance. Which is bad. So I'm not gonna do it. Oh, but now we can change his stance twice. Okay, we'll wait. We can only change his stance twice if we... No, actually, we can't change his stance twice. No matter which one we do first, we won't be able to hit the other one. Okay. There's the self-repair, so we should be at max health, as long as we don't take any more damage. Um. 
Okay. Um, I guess we're gonna recycle the Tempest. We have two cool headeds and a sweeping beam in hand, so it seems like it's time to go. We have no block currently, so auto shields actually works. Uh, it seems like we want to change his intention maybe twice. We don't really want that one. We can recycle and hologram the recycle, but then we lose claw. But we don't really need claw. Oh, wait, we can just hologram cool headed. Um, yeah, let's hologram cool headed. Um, we do have Omomori, and Omomori is full charged. Um, and it's basically useless on the Mind Bloom event. So, we're kind of excited to use Omomori, uh, to be honest. We have a bunch of blocks, so I guess we just do some claws. Um, I guess I'm pretty happy with this outcome. <laughs> oh, life coach, never change. Um, all for one seems really good. Let's cool headed first so we can get the go for the eyes. Oh, we didn't get it. Oops, we overdrew. Oh, we overdrew back into all for one. Yikes. Um, suddenly this is like kind of a clawback. Um, kind of a weird little transition, but we're like a pretty effective claw deck now. Let's just weaken him and skip the last claw. We're in a good spot, so. We need to overdo it. Could have played a bunch of dual casts this turn. I guess that was probably lethal with a bunch of dual casts. I did not think about that. Um, we probably want to set stuff up. I'm super bad at setting stuff up. Um... Um, yeah, he, he was called Rope Coach back when he was a uh, Hearthstone Pro because there's a little rope that shows up at the end of your turn when you're running out of turn time. And he would use his entire turn every single time. Um, he was usually just like thinking about things in the future, which was like really frustrating to watch because he would like he would like figure out what to do during his turn, like sometimes at the beginning of the turn, and then he'd just spend the rest of the turn thinking about like the rest of the match. Trying to like map it out. He literally would turn one rope like almost every time. Um, I don't think we need any of these. Um, in like high tension. If you just watch him ladder, he wouldn't do it usually, but. Uh, yeah, the, the turn one turn timer I think is only like 20 seconds now. Most of the time, it does not get used. Uh, this is... We're looking for block here. Uh, can we hand of greed somebody? No. If we secret technique, what do we get? Um, the skill would probably be auto shields if we'd done this at the beginning of the turn. We didn't. Um, cool head? Seems weak. Uh, thinking ahead could draw... Like, recycle electro.
my god, hand degree and try to get 80 gold? I guess we can. Eighty gold is like one hundred and sixty gold with membership card. It's a lot of gold for a colorless spot. We're gonna go to the shop probably if we do that. Oh my god, this hurts my soul. Okay, all right. Um, I wish that the zero cost attack meant I could like hand of greed hologram hand of greed, but if I did that, the hand of greed would cost two. Uh, Alright, well, we need to kill him first, so I guess we'll target him. Just make sure that costs two. Uh, I guess chaos to evoke an orb? Yeah, it has the same rules as, um, like, Mummified Hand, um, where as soon as you play it, it goes back to its original cost. It doesn't actually last till the end of the turn. Yep, it lies. Anything that says changes the cost of this turn usually means. Changes it for as long as we feel like it. Um, okay. So self-repair is happening. Um, unfortunately, I think we're killing Exploder. Holograms in the discards. So we can't go get uh, the thing. We need to get rid of this Lightning Orb if we want to um, kill them all. Um... Uh, all for one doesn't give us a path to get a hand degree, does it? No, hologram costs one. Um, we can recycle and then all for one the recycle, which is cute. I kind of want to play the cold snap though. So that we can rotate the lightning orb. Eventually get rid of it. Oh, we are on a timer too because of the um, Mercury Hourglass. Um, we need to play something to block out this turn. I guess we're already blocked out. Do we skip the defrags to avoid the Lightning Orb doing too much damage? Seems uh, a little bit intense. I think I'll play at least one of them. Now he's set up for uh, hand degree. Um. All right. I guess we skip this. We're not under any pressure. So Glacier gets rid of the Lightning Orb. Uh, it also blocks for a lot, which is surprisingly necessary. Um, they are hitting for 1831. Currently blocking for slightly too low. Um, do we go for the Eyes? If we go for the Eyes, he could die in... He'd die to two turns of Hourglass. Um, it blocks a little bit, though. I don't know, how much is the health worth? Next fight's an elite fight. I think I care about the health. Ah, we got it. Okay. So there's one hand agreed. Um, and then we can hologram a recycle. No, there's no recycle here. Um... So we can't hologram the hand of greed. So we got, what, three turns left to kill that spiker? We can defrag freely now. And cool head. Uh, either cool head or swooping beam shuffles. We probably want to leave sundial on too. That would be nice. Um, do we want recycle in the shuffle or no? Because we could recycle a cold snap or a dual cast now. 
I guess the important card is um, Hand of Greed. So we shouldn't put Recycle in the shuffle, because then we could draw Recycle instead of Hand of Greed. I'm not sure why we would need all four. Uh, we could sweeping beam into it, but that gift takes us takes away two turns, so let's not do that. Do we ever cold snap this guy? Do we need him lower for any reason? I think we actually do need him lower. Because we could get like hand of greed and then hologram in the next two turns. And he would only have taken six damage by then. So I'll do six more damage. Set him up. Um, cool headed, please. Nope. We can hologram the cool headed, but then we wouldn't be able to play it if we drew it. Well, we have to draw it next turn, so we can't miss. Uh, Glitcher for block seems nice. Okay, and next time we get Hologram, we'll kill this one with it. Cool. Um, I guess we could shuffle one more time for for send out. Oh, we don't have enough energy. Okay, whatever. This is a bad setup on Chaku too. Yeah. Oh, I took damage? Oh, shit. Ah! I thought I'd block. Didn't I, didn't I, uh, Glacier? Did the Glacier not block? Um. Was <laughs> Glacier was last. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. Um. Self-repair has been really good. It gets out of the deck. Double energy is good for setting up infinity stuff. Um, if we've got, like, a lot of card draw. We don't really have quite that much card draw. It does cost zero, though, so we could go get it with um, all-for-one. Have a big old all-for-one turn. Yeah, that's true. Deleting the deck is bad. I don't hate another self repair. We, it does take us a while to get set up. Healing for 20 at the end of a fight is pretty good. We're pretty late in the game for that to have like a lot of time to pay off. But it pays off in like the first Act 3 boss fight and like the Act 4 elite fight and stuff. So I think I'd probably pick it. Alright, here's Giant Head. Uh, we are on a clock immediately. We need to go off. Um, I guess. Extra energy. Try to play it. Probably should have played the dual cast earlier in the turn for slow procs. Okay. Can we hologram the recycle? Can that get a two? Can that get us two energy? Can't. Um, we'd have to recycle the all for one. I guess we want the all for one out of the deck eventually. We could just like recycle a claw or a zap. Nah, this turn is too good. I'll just, um... Oh wait, we can't play off one. I keep thinking I can play it. I can't play it. I guess I just hologram a claw. Okay. <laughs> 
clock. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, okay. Defrag. Go for the eyes makes a lot of sense in this fight, because he has eyes. You can just punch him right in him. I wish we had some debuffs. Orange Palace is cracking every turn. Okay, I think recycling a glacier is probably correct. I guess I'll wait for Sweeping Beam to tell me what it gets. Uh, are we blocking out? Flex for 18, 18 plus 12 is 30, so yeah, we're blocking out. Okay, um, we can hologram a recycle, get rid of the stupid auto shields. I guess let's draw some cards first. That's what I like to see. Gotta be a little bit careful, almost shuffled there with the ink bottle. Gotta watch that ink bottle a little more carefully. I uh, should have recycled the Cold Snap and played the self repair before the other zero cost cards. We're gonna <laughs> proc Ink Bottle again here. Um, okay, that's quite a turn. Can recycle the chaos and then the hologram are all for one to recycle. Um, so we got almost all the cards. Um, we can hologram the all for one and then recycle it. And then I think we're infinite. Oh, we have to recycle the hologram too, I guess. We can do that next shuffle. Are we gonna have enough energy here? Uh, looks like we are. Two sweeping beams, right? We don't need two sweeping beams. Okay. Um, can we just cool head it over and over? I think we probably could cool head it over and over. We have ink bottle procking during our infinite too. Uh, oh, that's true. Can we, can we just kill it now? Yeah, we're just going. Okay. And there's claws back. There we go. Um, okay. <laughs> We've got a get a third self repair plus. It seems a little bit excessive considering we're at full health. Uh, Rainbow seems unnecessary. Barrage seems unnecessary. We're just skipping. 500 gold shop seems correct. Probably just removing a card. 
Um, Pantograph pays off a couple times in the run. Uh, I guess it's three more Pantograph procs in the run. Um, seems pretty good. There's a Fruit Juice here. We can Pantograph Fruit Juice card remove. Uh, do we ever like trip or something? What does War Paint hit? Um, Glacier, Tempest, and Auto Shields. If we remove Auto Shields, it can only hit Glacier, Tempest, and Chaos. Hmm. That's interesting. That would be instead of a card remove? Or instead of Pantograph or something? That seems wrong. Okay. Let's keep our eyes on the prize here. Uh, Chaos or Auto Shields, I think, are the next cards to remove. Um, Auto Shields kind of, like, nominally does stuff. Like, at least at the beginning of the fight. So I think we're removing Chaos. My Pantograph. Hey, I smoke. This is a fun one. Uh, is fruit juice worth it? Yes, fruit juice is great. Okay. So that um, that long fight where we took the um, the shapes fight where we uh, hand of greeted them all that basically bought us the fruit juice and like part of the pantograph. I guess the fruit juice and part of the money we have left over. Um, extra fire seems okay. Seems like the recall. We don't really need any of these upgrades. Um, I guess Heat Sinks actually has a pretty good upgrade. But let's do the recall, just for safety. Can Chaos get you a Plasmorb? Yes, it can. Uh, it gets you a Plasmorb one quarter of the time. We have to skip this, and it's a blue candle, so great. Uh, transform a card. This is a weird one. Um, this run is infinite. We have a su sundial and lots of card draw stuff. So if we... Uh, <laughs> the blue candle of Memoria is energy. Yeah, it looks like we're not using any of this of Memoria, unfortunately. So if we could get... Uh, if we can recycle most of our deck, we can do infinite stuff. Um, do we ever transform the auto shields? What could it turn into? Can it ever turn into anything worse? I guess we just removed a Chaos, so presumably we think Chaos is worse. Could turn into a Power, that'd be good. Anything that exhausts. Um, I think Defect is probably the, the easiest class to do Infinite with. Um, and probably the easiest way to do Infinite is get two Holograms, upgrade them both, and then take the Madness event that comes sometimes happens in Act 3. And if you can get both of the Madnesses to land on Holograms, you have Infinite Block. You just Dirt all your holograms back and forth forever. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So if we transform, like, it's probably auto shields, and then I guess, like, Tempest are the next is the next card to go. Um, yep, hologram and all for one works too. Um, you can even do that with um, with turbo. Um, land madness on either holo on, on exactly hologram, and then all for one turbo. Hologram is, is lethal. Um, I think I am going to transform the auto shields. It's not it's not terrible, but it's there's not too many worse cards. There's lots of better cards. A blizzard. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, let's go hunt an elite. Reptomancer. Okay. Um, cool-headed needs to happen. Uh, probably defrag glacier now. Uh, we need to find our electrodynamics in this fight. It's a really good fight for electrodynamics. Only infinites I've done were the infinite dropkick iron shed and the Rushdown Lotus Watcher. Rushdown Watcher is a pretty hard one to pull off. Kind of surprised that's that's on the top of your list. Yes, there is. there are many reasons to not use fruit juice. Um, the main reason is that we can drink it at any time, so we shouldn't do it until something forces us to do it, basically. Um, 
the like more practical reasons are like if you get like the apparitions event that takes like 50 percent of your current hp so you want to wait to drink your fruit juice until you lose your 50 percent of hp because then you could gain back five hp so it's kind of like you double the effectiveness of the fruit juice um, probably we're going to drink it without any cool effect like that here but um okay well, hmm. This is not a great situation. Max block is zap then dual cast. Uh, um, do we need that much? We're blocking for 12 at the end of the turn, so we're blocking for 33 total right now, so we're taking 19 damage. Yeah, Violet Lotus, it can definitely work. Um, um, I mean, you can infinite with just, like, Empty Mind and uh, Inner Peace, right? Or, like, Empty Mind and, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the attack that enters Calm. Uh, we don't need that much block. Let's see. So this gets 14 if we dual cast it. We're taking... Okay, I guess we do need that much block. Okay. I just will get those self repairs out of the way. Okay, there's the electrodynamics finally. Um, we can recycle a Tempest right now for 8 energy this turn. I don't know if we can use 8 energy this turn. But we have a hologram, so I'm betting we can. We have to be a little bit careful about when Ink Bottle goes up here. So we probably want to play, like, Hologram All for One before Ink Bottle goes off. I think we want to play Hologram All for One and then play Recycle. So let's do that now. Wait, what are we recycling? Because we want to keep the cool-headed, we want to play Electrodynamics, and we want to play def Defrag. Maybe that's not the play? Um... are we doing here? Yeah, let's just hologram and all for one and then we can figure out what we're doing. Um, oh wait. I guess I'll just claw all for one. I want to play claws. Whatever, we're wasting the card draw, it's fine. Oh, that worked the opposite way as I thought it was going to work. That's disappointing. Thanks for the follow, TK Apprentice. Uh, probably not, like, lethally bad, but, like, pretty bad. <laughs> so, I guess I'm glad to have learned how that works. Uh, so, Ink Bottle drew a card which shuffled the deck, so there was nothing in the discard for All for One to go get. Was the interaction, if you didn't follow. Yeah, Corruption is super nice. Ironclad is, is very good at thinning out the deck um, very rapidly. Um, it's a struggle with Defect to recycle all these um, statuses. So we can't, like, lean into the, the infinite too hard with this fight. Lizard's getting some mad damage here. Looks like we have Leaf Holmes. It's a blizzard lethal. We're also setting up Nunchaku. Yeah. Oh wow, suddenly we have 100 max HP. That's kind of insane. These are all terrible. Um, we can recycle the heat sinks and then... I guess we should sweep in beam. Uh, I wish I had a way to draw cards. Because <laughs> um, I have, like, I can recycle the go for the eyes. And I can play all for one twice. It's not really particularly useful. Um, I 
Oh, I should hologram sweep. Good point. And get an Ascender's Bane. Hooray! Um, I guess playing heat sinks is better than recycling it. Um, wait. That means I'm skipping all for one. Yeah, so I'll recycle heat sinks. I have to get it out of the deck either way. I'd rather. Hey, will you calm down? Okay. Here. No, in behind the monitor, not in front of the monitor. You idiot. Okay. Um, yeah, Orange Blots has been good. I don't know if it's been clutch. Um, we've been triggering it a lot. <laughs> it's very excited about being in the deck, that's for sure. Um, doesn't actually do very much. Uh, if we draw an Electrodynamics, Tempest might be lethal, but we haven't, so it probably isn't. Um, <laughs> it'll be good in Act 4. It's it's an Act 4 card, or Relic. It's, it's here for the heart. It's just waiting. Uh, I guess Double Cool Head is better than Glacier. Oh, there's the Electro. Uh, Defrag Electro. Seems like we take a lot of damage. Uh, we block for 9, so we've got 23 block. And we do seven, or sorry, 12 plus, um, plus seven AOA, so he definitely dies. But neither of these two. Uh, that seems like enough block. Yeah, Bioscog would be good. Although, honestly, like, we might skip a Bioscog with this deck. Um, I'm just warning people. That's something that could happen. Um... People get very upset when you skip by a scog, but like we don't need it to kill people, and it doesn't really help us that much. It's basically just more focus. I probably wouldn't skip it, but it is possible. Um, it is a 23 card deck, so I think we could probably afford to put a bias scog in it. Um, well, we don't need it. It's we're trying to do infinite stuff. Bias scog is not part of the infinite combo. Uh, like, infinite combo is how we're cutting the heart. Which fight does Biascog help us with? Like, Time Lord, it helps us quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's true. <laughs> good, good point, B. Uh, we have way more self-repair than we need. Yeah, any power is, like, it's fine to put in the deck. Uh, do we pick a Turbo ever? Um, it seems like adding statuses to our own deck is a terrible idea, but maybe it helps us go off sometimes? I don't know. D turbo is part of some defect infinites, but we're a sundial infinite, so I don't really want the turbo. Helps with defense early in the turns when you don't get defrag. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it, I would just consider it like a, a third defrag, and I think, I guess I would take a third defrag. I'm not like super excited about it. Okay, the Maw. He's here to collect his debts. We have all for one recycle, that's pretty exciting. I guess we're recycling on Colts now. And then triggering. Oh, wait, we trigger Ink Bottle with the defrag, so let's do that first. Oh. Here's an opportunity for. Uh, um, Orange Palace actually do something next turn. Um, we didn't get the powers. Oh, we did. Um, I think we hologram the recycle. Um, interesting. Okay. Maybe we should have recycled the electrodynamics. 
Heat Sink self repair draws a card. Yeah, we recycle the deck down to like eight cards, and then we do, um, like, we basically just play Cool Headed an infinite number of times because of Sundial. Um, I guess. It, I, I guess this is helpful if we ever, like, take damage. Um, sure. We have a relic proccing, like, every time we play a card, which is very confusing. It's just, like, a lot, of, a lot of action coming from up here. It's hard to track. Um, what card do we want to recycle? I guess hologram eventually? No, wait, we can hologram back the... Oh crap, what do we want to recycle? Probably doesn't matter. Um... I guess we don't need two cool headed, so we could just recycle one of them. draw a card. We could recycle that new card. No, we don't have enough energy to hologram all for one. We could get two cards and shuffle. We don't need two sweeping beams. Okay. Three monitors, one here, one for life coach, one for beardy. <laughs> but who are you listening to? Who's coming out of your speakers? That's the real question. Okay, presumably this is lethal. Great, ink bottle set up. We can't we're never gonna set up ink bottle, nunchaku, and sundial. I'm pretty happy to set up ink bottle and sundial. Uh <laughs> just want all of them. Excellent. Uh, as long as I can participate in the chorus, like one of those creepy precogs from Minority Report, that's all I ask. Um, another claw. We could take the claw, I suppose, technically. It's allowed. Uh, I think we skip these. Blessing Forge versus Block Pot. Seems like an obvious block pot. Okay. One more Act 3 Elite. Does he have what it takes? Can he take us down? We've got 100 health, we've got a fairy in a bottle, we've got infinite combos. It's a lot to ask for a, from a poor nemesis. Um, I think we're going to recycle Tempest. Pretty excited about that line. Um, Lesser Dynamics gets out of the deck. I guess we should have played Sweep and Beat first. Okay. Are you literally doing that, Merle? Because <laughs> that's pretty insane. I didn't even know Twitch like let you do that. I guess I've never had two streams open at the same time. Um, okay. So we're taking one damage. Stacking up the claws, having a cat walk in front of the monitor. Or attempting to do so, at least. One damage to get the uh, Centena puzzle procced. Hype. Um, I guess we recycle the heat sinks for energy. Drat. All right. If you are Doctor Strange, does that make me Dormammu? This is it's, that's too much power. I can't. I can't wield that kind of power. Uh, let's get rid of these burns. I think he's gonna burn us faster than we're gonna 
recycle the burns, unfortunately. So we can't infinite combo this fight. But we can generate a bunch of frost orbs and kill them with that. Get some claws in on the action. I probably can't kill him next turn, um, although it's not out of the question. What is this gets back? Uh, go for the eyes is helpful, but he's not weak, so that blocks. Uh, I think that blocks out actually. So we're blocking for 9 plus 12 is 21. Yeah, that blocks out. I don't even need it to block out. Weak, why not? Um, what? All right, I guess go for the ice kills him. Um, it's a good Nunchaku setup. Fairly good Ink Bottle setup. I guess I could have played a card before to set up Ink Bottles on mine. That's right, <laughs> we gotta get the we get the value from the... Um... Well, wait a minute. We just picked up a Calibers. That's, that, surely that we can do stuff with that in this deck, right? Um... Huh. I guess we're forced to Smith. I always remark on this, but like really successful Slay of the Spire runs almost always end up wasting a campsite like this. It's like we took a recall earlier for safety, and like we can't rest because we've covered our purpose, so we're forced to smith, but all we got all the good upgrades already. So we're basically just wasting a campsite, um, which is a good sign. We've got extra resources. I kind of want to upgrade the Tempest. Uh, is Blizzard a decent upgrade? I guess it's like a 50% upgrade. Pretty good. Um, I don't see the advantage to upgrading all for one. It's just four damage. Uh, oh wait, no, it's definitely heat sinks. You guys are crazy. It's heat sinks by a mile. Would you rather play two heat sinks or one? Uh, two. Tempest is okay. It makes it better. Tempest is like much better if you play it for zero energy if it's Tempest Plus, but I don't. It doesn't really matter. Heat sinks matters. Uh, all right. Um, shoot. Um, well, we're taking some damage turn one. This is about as much as we can repair with our self repair too. So this is a, uh, it's a bit of a black eye. I guess I'll remove an artifact charge and get a frost orb. We could recycle a Tempest to get up to 8 energy, and then do nothing with it. Um, I guess recycling Tempest and playing Tempest are basically the same, so I'll just play it. Yeah, this would be a good turn for, for top. This would be a pretty good deck for top, too, because we recycle. Play the recycle for a uh, Ink Bottle proc, but... No functional purpose other than that. Alright, we got an all for one now. We are much closer to blocking out this turn. Um, we also have heatsink self repair. That's spicy. Maybe we hologram back the recycle and then just recycle the all for one? I guess maybe we would just recycle the glacier. Um, what are we doing? We need to block for 30. So Glacier, I think, is getting played. Maybe just, like, Glacier Heat Sinks Hologram Claw? Okay. Uh, no, we should Hologram Recycle? No. Recycle doesn't do anything. It would just hit Sweeping Beam. Claw stacks up. Oh, 
Alright, Electro, I left you in the deck for this moment. What are you doing at the bottom of the deck? This is your... Wait, did we just not play it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, we draw four cards if we play Defrag Electro. Uh, which is a lot of cards. We draw all these. I guess we draw five, because ink bottle. So we're shuffling that gives us energy, so this is free. Um, and we need to block for some more, so I think we're playing Defrag and Cool Headed. Can recycle something. Uh, let's go ahead and draw the thing to recycle. Uh, I guess we're going to recycle one of the extra sweeping beams. And then probably recycle the blizzard as well. So we can play self-repair. So we can draw more cards. I guess we play cool-headed instead because it blocks for more. Still draws. All right, we've officially exceeded the amount we can uh, heal in this fight. Although I guess we have Pantograph for the next fight too. Um, claw and then shuffle with a self repair. Um, sweeping Beam or, like, Glacier? Let's see. So we need to Glacier because we aren't close to blocking out. Let's do that. And then I guess Cold Snap. So the Blizzard eventually good. Wait, did we recycle Blizzard? We did. Never mind. Blizzard doesn't matter. Um, does All for One get back recycle? It does not. It doesn't do anything right now. Aha! We finally got past his artifact charges and weakened him. Alright, we've blocked out. I think we just hologram a claw. Hopefully we can get Donium before he attacks again. I guess his buff is a lot more important than his, uh, his attack. Uh, it does indeed look like we're killing him. So if we claw him, he dies at end of turn to the lightning orb. Um, so we don't need to play dual cast. And then I guess we'll recycle the dual cast. Just get rid of a card. Uh, let's recycle this glacier. Is that lethal yet? Yes, great. Alright, next fight. Heal up to 97. Heal up for 3. <laughs> okay, this is the hardest fight. Um, Awaken 1 would have been significantly easier. Uh, okay, so what's our path through here? We're probably not infiniting. Uh, we're probably just blocking with Frost Orbs. Um, and then... What? Blizzarding him into death? I think this turn is just go for the eyes cold snap. We could blizzard for a kunai proc.
Um, hmm. Blizzard also draws a card. Okay. Uh, Defrag blocks for two. A little bit of a waste of a uh, debuff purge opportunity. We're also not drawing cards with Heatsink or anything. I guess we can just still scale up claws in this deck, or in this fight. So scale up claws and uh, block with frost orbs. Alright, uh, frost orb first. Hmm. We're currently blocking out. So I think I'll just play the claw and end. Maybe we're supposed to play with heat sinks. I don't think we want to play extra cards. It seems like extra cards. Defrag has to happen, and it looks like this Glacier has to happen. But now we're blocked out. Uh, do we leave it with four cards? We could, like, yeah, anything else would be crazy. We could, like, hologram a claw and then play Sweeping Beam Tempest, but, like, why? We can just draw a claw next turn. Okay, probably do want to proc the clock here. Just so we're not left with three. Mm, maybe being left with three is okay. This is our maximum block scaling. Like, 18 per turn is, is the most we can do. Um, and he's going to keep scaling up if we keep resetting the clock. So maybe we just leave him alone at three. The worst case scenario is he hits us for, like, ten or something. I think I'm okay with that. Hmm. Maybe the worst case scenario was slightly worse than that. Oh, we need to uh, play a power to purge debuffs. That's why he's hitting us for so much. So the last card has to be Claw to purge debuffs. Okay. Alright. Uh, 9 plus 18 is not quite 30, but it's only off by like 3, so I think we'll just take 3. As opposed to playing extra cards. Play self repair. Seems like we probably want to play that at some point. No, we'll use it for debuffs. Could like hologram a claw or do some all for one stuff. All for one double claw seems okay. Go Dex. I guess we're scaling our decks faster than our, our focus here. So eventually we're going to be blocking with actual cards. Interesting. Alright, we need to power this turn. That is why we don't play the Heat Sinks, I guess. Heat Sinks, Glacier, Sweeping Beam. Or, uh, I guess Blizzard does more damage to Sweeping Beam now. But we're not doing damage either way. Uh, we need to purge debuffs. And Glacier blocks for a lot. Maybe Sweeping Beam draws a card we want to play.
Now it's only 34. No, see, he's just messing around. Um, okay, 30. We can block for 18 passively. Seems like hologram's probably happening. Maybe hologram glacier. That certainly blocks out. Leaves us with three on the clock. is not amazing. Does stack up Blizzard a little bit. Hmm, three on the clock and he's attacking. Well, we basically have to proc the clock here, because otherwise we're leaving ourselves with three on the clock for the future. Actually, we're blocking for nine plus 18. So we're only taking three. I guess we'd be skipping a claw, though. Hmm. Yeah, let's just reset the clock. Cold snap blocks, do we need to block? Mm, we're already blocking for 36, we're fine. Uh, blocking for 18, we need a little bit more, so we'll cool headed. Yeah, <laughs> only 126 turns. Uh, does that count the turn where he heals? Recycle the Tempest for massive energy. I guess Tempest is only one card. We could just play Tempest. <laughs> Blizzard's getting stacked up. I don't think we're skipping Blizzard this turn. I don't think we're skipping Go for the Eyes either. Now he's only hitting for 27. We've already got that blocked. I think we'll just leave the rest alone. Getting close to splitting. Splits at 240, or I guess 239. He has to be below 50 to split. Um, okay, so we are debuffed, so we need to play like Electro, Cold Snap, uh, Hologram. I guess Hologram Claw also works. Or Cold Snap Cool Headed. Kind of like Cold Snap Cool Headed. Because we need to get the Frost Orbs back. Alright. Alright, Claw splits him. Uh, I guess Sweeping Beam splits him too. Taking some damage. Uh, doesn't look like we can avoid it. Uh, we might as well reset the clock as well. Since we're on 10. And Zap blocks for a little bit. Is taking damage fine? <laughs> We can't rest. We don't. Have, we can't rest. We have coffee over. Uh, I mean, we're going to be mostly at full health because we have uh, Eternal Feather, but yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. But, uh, I think we do nothing here. He's about to heal. Call us foolish. But really, it's him who's the fool. Alright, we can start getting in a bunch of damage if we want. We could, like, Glacier Cool-Headed Blizzard. Um, 
hologram, some claws. Claws are only hitting for 23 here. Um, it looks like we're actually scaling Blizzard faster. So we could, like, cool-headed Blizzard hologram Blizzard. Seems like kind of a waste of cards. Especially since he's got 30 block. That's true. Yep, we should upgrade to the Blizzard. Good point. Uh, we can do it the next camp site. The uh, Act 4 one. Which I presume we're getting to. I think we just do nothing here. He's got so much armor, we can just wait. Uh oh, maybe we can't wait. Um, I guess I should have seen that coming. There's a lot of slimes in the draw pile here. We know exactly what the draw is next turn. I guess we play Tempest to get some extra block. Dual cast for damage, but that doesn't, seems like a waste of a card. Oh man, if we missed all for one there, we could have drawn three slimes and a self repair and died here. I think we're not dying because all for one. Um. Maybe we're dying anyway. Uh, I guess self repair shuffles we could draw something good. Max damage is Claw, Claw, Blizzard. Oh yeah, Fairy. Um, crap. Yeah, I mean, Zap Dualcast is an option. We would get um, 36 damage from Evokes and uh, 14 damage at the end of the turn. It's not lethal, though, so why do it? I'd rather leave myself with uh, Tab in the Claw. Alright, is all 4 and lethal here? It is. Oh, it is, man. It, it, it is, like, almost exactly. Wow. Cool. Alright, well, we lost a fairy, but we did survive it. Was... Wait, Claw Claw Zap Dual Cast Blizzard was lethal? Is that what you're saying? Maybe you're talking about the, the line that we did use to kill him. Okay, we got a full health anyway. But we did lose our fairy. Uh, seems like Blizzard gets stacked up pretty quick. Time Lord is such a weird fight, though. I think normally claws way outscale Blizzard. Um, oh, yeah. It, it, it was the most damage, but we would have actually lost the fight if we'd done it. Um, Oh, interesting. Um, but none of these other upgrades are any good, so I guess Blizzard. Okay. Blizzard Plus. Ha, ah, Tungsten Rod. Buy a second Blizzard? Buy Apotheosis? I guess Apotheosis doesn't do much. Um, could buy two potions and still card remove. That seems fun. Could buy a blizzard and card remove. What card are we removing? Probably Tempest. Uh, 
Um, I think we're trying to go hardcore lethal into these last couple fights, so probably adding a new card is probably not correct. I think we just want to remove a card and take some potions. Um, hopefully these potions are for the heart. Um, so the weak pot seems good. Although we do have to go for the eyes. And, hmm. Skill pot and colors pot usually I think do the same thing. I think I'm gonna take a skill pot. I could find a glacier or something. Shard was available, that's true. Okay. Um, let's start off with Ghoulhead. Um, go for the eyes doesn't land, but it's still good. We could Heat Sink Self Repair. Uh, Self Repair is probably not too important in this fight. We're healing for 25 at the end of it. Um, but it might be important. Heat Sink Self Repair draws three cards. We're left with two energy. Um, ideally, we're looking for a like Glacier or Defrag. It's possible we get a um, Recycle. Where is a Recycle? Recycle and Hologram. Um, I think we recycle the Sweeping Beam so that we can play all for one. Um, and then get another claw. Or we could just play the sweeping beam and recycle the all for one to get more energy. Do more stuff. We could still hologram back a cool headed. We could just start with hologramming a cool headed, recycle all for one. Hologram cool headed and go off. Sweeping Beam is also free, so I guess we can play Sweeping Beam now. That's another Sweeping Beam. Okay. Good old two Orange Pellets procs with no debuffs. Um, maybe more Zero Goss stuff? Ooh! the defrag. Alright, we are taking one damage, which is perfect for Centeno Puzzle. Got scary because we missed the uh, the defrag. That's true. There's another defrag in two cards. We can go get it with uh, Cool Hood. Or Self Repair. Self Repair, defrag, Cool Hood. Glacier. Uh, it sounds like it's too much energy. So we could do Cool Head first. We get two less block from this one. It seems okay. Are we rocking Sundial? We are. Um, let's put Claw into the shuffle. Interesting, we have a recycle. Um, Glacier seems like a good play. Probably also playing Cool Headed. We have three, six, nine cards in hand, so Cool Headed is currently drawing cards. Um, oh, we missed the Ink Bottle drop. Oops. We have Electro. Maybe we're recycling the Glacier? Doesn't seem good. No, I think we need the block right now, so let's block. And then cool head. Uh, okay, so we're blocking for 49 plus 12 is 61. That is exactly how much they're hitting us for. Uh, we do take two damage because of the burn, or four damage because of the burns. Two damage if we recycle one of the burns. Uh, and three less than that if we zap. So if we zap and recycle a burn, we take nothing. I guess dual gas is better than that. Okay, so we're no, not taking any damage. Uh, so we could recycle a cold snap to play self-repair, which draws two cards, which could draw defrag, which would be bad. 
We could recycle Electro instead, and then self repair could draw Defrag, and we can play Defrag. Uh, we don't really need Electro in the fight, but I would like to get rid of a burn, so I think I'm just going to get rid of a burn. Okay, there's the defrag. Uh, probably need to turn around. Um, but we can turn around pretty easily. So I think we're going to get rid of the last artifact charge on spear first. Defrag's going to draw exactly these two. Um, we're on, almost at ink bottle. Um, so if we hologram all for one... Oh wait, all for one's gone. Um, um, we could like hologram a claw so it's in the bottom of a shuffle. I guess currently hologram is in the bottom of the shuffle, so maybe we will keep that. Um, he hits for 38, I'm not googling it this time. He would hit for 9 times 2 if we turned around. 38 plus 18 is 56. So we need to find a way to block for 56. I think hologram into glacier is probably what we're doing. Um, would we rather put claw in the shuffle or not? I don't see why we wouldn't put claw in the shuffle. I'm gonna put claw in the shuffle. Oh, that did not work. Uh, I guess we will Sweeping Beam, and then probably recycle the other Sweeping Beam. Uh, dual cast is happening. Why not? Okay, that probably blocks out, right? Yeah. Cool. Oh, jeez. Um, I guess this is not as bad as it looks. Um... But it looks really bad, so. Blocking for 12, passively 8 from the hologram. Um, we can get back a recycle to get rid of a burn. Uh, we can't turn around, so we're going to have to claw forward. I think we can't turn around. Can we turn around? He would hit us for um, an extra 7, so we'd go up to 21. It's 50%, right? So we go up to 21, we're currently blocking for 8 plus 12, which is 20, and taking 4 burn damage. So yeah, we can't turn around. Okay. We can purge that strength down. Um, Self-repair self draws exactly these two. Um, so it's cool-headed. I think we're probably going to play self-repair, cool-headed, and hold snap and go for the eyes. So he's going to be weak and not doing 50% extra damage. I think I won't go for the eyes in the shuffle. Um, hologram Claw, Cold Snap. Oh wait, we already got a cold kunai with just Hologram Claw. Um, that seems fine. Uh, do we Electro? We could Electro. We could Cool Head, draw some more cards. Recycle an extra burn. Great. Uh, I won't zap so that I can keep the frost orbs. Okay, need to turn around. Um, I guess we have to do that with claw. 
Last card is Blizzard. Oh wait, we can turn around with Go for the Eyes. So we could claw forward. I guess it doesn't matter because there's too much armor. Uh, actually, Blizzard's going to be taking a bunch of the armor too. 36, so it does matter. So we'll turn around with the Go for the Eyes. Actually, I'm going to Glacier first. It's, it's possible we get a free turnaround by killing Spire Spear. I guess that's pretty unlikely. Blizzard after Glacier. That's true. Fair point. Uh, I guess we can go for the eyes forward and then hologram and then go for the eyes backward. Extending the week on Spire Spear. We've taken two more damage. Surely at this rate we will perish. Um, we get a turnaround here, or um, whatever, kill. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, probably we don't care too much about super optimizing the rest of this fight. We do care about setting up things. Um... Um, so we're going to not kill him. I'll go ahead and take a kunai proc. And I think we're trying to kill him next turn. So I'll do this because it sets up stuff. Probably only want to play attacks for the rest of the fight since these are pretty close to being sicked up. Uh, 31 plus 18. Why are we blocking for 31? How did that happen? Um, oh, calipers, right. I forgot we had calipers. Um, so 31 plus 18 is 59, so we're over blocking him. We only want to play attacks, so we'll just play attacks next turn. Uh, not a particularly useful time to be playing attacks, because he has a million armor. Um, so hopefully we'll kill him with two attacks next turn. Is that possible? Blizzard and something? Maybe. Could happen. Uh, yes, it does happen. Cool. And we get the uh, sundial set up. Pretty good heart set up. Look at that. Nine, eight, two. We almost got them all. If we just played one fewer skill. Um, these are not good. I guess rebound can hit claws. Um, no, thank you. Okay. The heart. One and only. Uh, when we play a card, we draw a card. Because of Ink Bottle. Um, probably want to play Defrag this turn. Probably want to play, like, Claw Hologram Claw as well. Um, I'm just going to shorten that to Clawlogram in the future. Probably want to Clawlogram. Yeah, we could draw Heat Sinks Defrag. Oh, that's true, because we take beat damage. Good point. I thought you by four cards you meant these, and then I realized that's only two cards. Uh, okay, so let's play Defrag first, because we know we want to play that this turn. And we're going to draw a bunch right now, so maybe we don't want to play Heat Sinks. Okay. Um, Go for the Eyes, unfortunately, doesn't quite work this turn. Um... 
We could play cool headed, draw some more zero cost stuff, play a bunch of zero cost stuff, all for one more zero cost stuff. Um, it's good for getting kunai procs. I guess it's also good for finding um, recycle. We kind of want to get recycle next turn, though, when we have uh, heart statuses to deal with. But this seems okay. Getting a frost orb is also nice. That crazy Akabiko value. Um, I think we're going to skip go for the eyes and zap. I don't want to take extra beat damage for that. It's not worth it. Uh, we do have a skill pot. Are you suggesting we use it now to block beat damage? Seems like we could probably get a better usage out of it than that. Well, we played a lot of claws the first turn. That's something. I guess we play Zap. Is having a lightning orb better than not having a lightning orb? Not entirely clear. Maybe we play Go for the Eyes to get Nunchaku closer to propping. I guess we could have gotten an extra Kunai proc if we played Go for the Eyes twice. Only would have cost us one health. One health for a dex is a pretty good deal. Alright, we really badly need to purge debuffs this turn. And we can. Uh, sweeping beam first. Um, when you start Act 2, Life Coach is on Act 3 boss, you're both fighting the heart now. <laughs> well, I mean, the Act 3 boss takes the longest part of the run. Maybe he's doing something really complicated. What's he playing? Um, let's recycle a slime to purge those debuffs. Alright, he's hitting for 30. We are blocking for 14. We're gonna go ahead and weaken him too. So now he's only hitting for 15. His first Ascension Twin Defect run. Like, first ever, or first uh, as part of his project? I think we're skipping Claw. I do think we're skipping Dual Gas. Doesn't seem worth anything. Um, skill Pot could help us prop Kunai if it like draws cards or something. It seems like wasting three energy here is not great. Skill Pot could help with that, I guess, is what I'm saying. Um, I'll save skill pot for when we're taking actual damage. Okay. Um, school head, save me. Um, okay, I think now is the skill pot. Um, aggregate for zero. Cool. Um, we could equilibrium. It would cause us to retain the wound, but I guess retaining the wound is actually kind of a good thing. Because then we can um, maybe uh, recycle it. Okay. Electrodynamics blocks and sets up uh, lightning orb damage for next turn when he's not attacking. Okay. Um, I think Glacier first to block beat damage, and then like cool headed, hopefully do a lot, bunch of stuff this turn. Uh, no Nunchaku proc happening, so I guess it's just gonna be like claw all for one, cold snapper blizzard. Cold snap to block. The damage difference isn't huge yet. I 
did kind of forget that we put an equilibrium in the deck. That's not great. Alright, we could maybe weaken him. Uh, if we could manage to play Cove of the Eyes three times this turn. Um, more likely is that we try and block with um, stuff. We could go for the Eyes, Hologram, and all for one. All for one, and go for the Eyes. That, so that gets us twice. How do we get a third one? Uh, doesn't seem like it's possible. Or likely, I guess. Um, we need to draw Recycle. We need to infinite in this fight, and we need to infinite like fairly soon. So let's start with Sweeping Beam. Try and draw it. Nope. Alright, well, playing two dual casts this turn seems pretty reasonable. Thanks for the subscription, Merle. Appreciate it. Appreciated your contributions to chat while you've been here. Thanks for hanging out. And, um, enjoy your new, uh, emotes. Oh, it looks like we, that, uh, I think we got a new, um, sub-tier threshold with that. Um, not clear, but it's showing me a message saying we got a new emote. So, thanks, Merle. I don't know if I even have an emote in that slot yet, or how that even works, but it seems like things are happening. Ooh, I see that you're a first day subscriber as well. You must have excellent taste. He's sitting for 60, so I think we need to get max block here, which is Zap Dualcast. Uh, sweeping Beam could draw us Recycle, but we don't really want to draw Recycle anymore. I think we'd rather just play Self Repair and get that out of the deck. We don't ever need to purge debuffs again, so... Okay. Um, do we have any more powers? We don't. We're all out of power. Oh wait, we've got a self repair. So playing heat sinks has theoretically some value. Um, let's start with cool headed. Okay, I think glacier and go for the eyes are happening. Probably we're recycling the equilibrium now. Although maybe we recycle the heat sinks and play the equilibrium. It does seem like we need some block. Um, okay, so we are blocking for 18, and we've got 5 currently, so that's 23, so we're taking 12 damage. Equilibrium does a pretty good job of blocking that, so I guess I'll play it. Okay. Uh, close to an ink bottle proc. Um, there is a claw left in here, and some statuses, so we want to draw those cards before we all for one. Yeah, Red Beardy does need emotes. What's the deal with Red Beardy not having emotes? Darn, we didn't get it. Okay. Uh, I guess we get to recycle this burn, which is still good. Oh, he's taking suggestions. Oh, wow. It's happening. Um, taking suggestions is a really good idea. I should have done that. Instead of just imposing my will. Um, pretty unfortunate that we're above 400. I don't know if we're going to start getting damage caps soon, but um, I think eventually the goal is to get damage caps. Um... Right, we need a dual cast here to block. You'd rather recycle self repair than burn. Um, but we can play self repair to draw. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Wait, uh, recycling anything over burn just like kind of blows me away. Like, why would you not want to recycle burn? Um. Oh, we 
die here. This holds draw a card. Oh no, quick sure without enough energy. Um, brain was blocked and the one mana would give me a blizzard. Huh. That's okay, that's a decent point. Looks like we are dead. We did not scale enough. Um hmm. Yeah, we didn't get the infinite combo off against the heart, um, which uh, I think we needed. Uh, I'd have to watch it again to see like exactly what went wrong. We didn't. We only infinited like once in the run, so we weren't very consistent. Um, I guess we added like, I, we, no, we didn't really add Blizzard. We transformed a card into Blizzard. Um, I wouldn't really say we were too slow. We just didn't get it up. We didn't get up and running get it up. <laughs> um, second recycle would have been really nice. Um, second, or third cool headed I think would have been a take. Hmm. It's, it felt like a win. Kind of confused, because we like, we took two damage to the Spire Elites. Um, you have to figure when you dominate the Spire Elites that easily uh, that you're going to win. I don't know, maybe we needed to Keep the fairy against Time Lord. All right, see you later, Merle. Ooh, tenth win in a row. That's impressive. Um, the heart does put status, but we have to recycle. We we were supposed to be prepared for that. Um, we still had like a cold snap and stuff. Yeah, huh? How did this fail? We didn't have much energy manipulation. We were really counting on the sundial specifically. But we like we were at full health. We had a good setup. Um, it seems like the deck can do it. We just didn't get there. I guess recycle bottom decked. Um, so we weren't able to like recur the recycle, the like three times per shuffle we needed. Um, yeah, we, we drew Hologram and Recycle in the wrong order, I think, every time. Which is unfortunate, but it doesn't seem like it should be the end of the world. I guess it's just, if the deck isn't consistent enough with, with only one Recycle. With two Recycles, it definitely would have worked. Huh. Curious. Um, there was some cards that were not good against the Heart, like the Blizzard, Second Claw, Electrodynamics, Cold Snap. But, like, it's a 22-card deck. It's not like it's a huge deck. Interesting. 